Welcome to Ronchar Ranch Draft Horse Rescue. We're located in Varysburg, New York on 47 acres. We have four pastures for a total of eight acres. And currently we have three residents. Let's go meet them. This is Barney. He is a 23 year old Belgian. And he's been with us the longest. He's been with us for three years. And he was uh, a surrender from a local uh, farm in the Finger Lakes. Um, he had been working on the farm uh, for 15 years and uh, he went blind. And when that happened, the farmer reached out to us to uh, ask if we could take him and obviously we did. Um, Barney is our first blind horse. Um, he is 95% blind. Most people don't even realize that he's blind um, because he gets around so well. This is Gabby. This is Barney's pasture mate. Um, she is somewhere in the range of uh, 20 to 28 years of age. Um, our vet thinks closer to 28. Um, she was a surrender um, from actually a farm just down the hill from us. Um, it was a situation where the family dynamics had changed and she was the only horse left. Um, so the owner stopped by and asked if we could uh, take her. Uh, Gabby is 50% blind and um, she does have some hoof issues that we're dealing with um, but she's a very very sweet girl um, great ground manners and she is a wonderful pasture mate to Barney um, you can see the bell on her that is so that Barney knows where she is at all times Louie is uh, an 11 year old thoroughbred that we actually um, had surrendered to us. Um, he was supposed to be Barney's uh, pasture mate, um, but that didn't work out. Louie has way too much energy for Barney. Um, so it was decided that um, Louie should come and reside with uh, Charlie and Roni. Uh, Louis uh, does some does have some medical issues. He has uh, navicular in his uh, front feet, um, and he also has uh, EPM that we are treating for right now. Um, we're hoping to see some positive results soon. Um, we have just started it. Um, this is the um, we're starting the second week of his treatment with uh, Marquis. So we hope to see some, some results soon. This is our barn. Um, it's broken up into two sides. Um, as you can see, um, we don't have designated stalls. The reason for that is um, a lot of the horses that we take in have um, emotional um, issues. And we have found that giving them the free choice to come and go and not be stuck in a barn uh, or in a stall uh, serves them very well. Um, the barn is built in such a way that we can put stalls in, we can put gates up, and um, they do have 12 by 12 stalls, which is um, ample space for um, the big guys to lay down and be comfortable and uh, not have to worry about um, them getting stuck or cast. This is the second side of the barn where uh, Louie, Charlie, and Roni reside. Um, just like the other side where Barney and Gabby are, the um, run-in area can be changed into two stalls um, and in fact Louie who is uh, directly in front of us by the blue barrel um, did have to be on stall rest for three weeks 
um, due to a laceration that he um, had. Um, and it was easy enough just to put the gates up and then um, have him on stall rest, but also have him have access to the water, which is behind him, and uh, Charlie and Roni. This is our first pasture. This is where Bernie and Gabby uh, spend most of their time if they're not in the barn. And um, the fencing is made up of a top line that has um, woven wire that's covered with uh, a plastic, almost like a vinyl siding. Um, this is so that if Barney runs into it, he will not get um, electrified. The bottom two lines, if he does make it through the, um, the top line, are electrified. And uh, this, this fencing was put in specifically for Barney. Um, we had um, a high tensile fence in before and um, it did not work at all for him. Uh, so we went ahead and we changed out the fence specifically for him. This is a center line that separates the, um, the first pasture into two sections. It's uh, done for two reasons. Um, first off, because Gabby and Barney are older and blind, it gives them um, a more tranquil environment that they're able to be in. Uh, the other horses on the ranch are younger horses who like to play. Um, and since Gabby and Barney don't have any teeth, um, they're really not able to um, defend themselves, whereas the other guys all have their teeth and um, obviously are able to bite. So um, they're separated out for the well-being of Gabby and Barney, and they really do um, enjoy being able to interact with the rest of the herd, yet be separate so that they don't have to worry about being bullied. This is our second pasture and our largest pasture. Um, we had recently relined this pasture. Um, it was originally high tensile fence and we relined it this spring to have a rope woven rope. Um, we've never had a situation where a horse has run through a fence. Um, however, we didn't want to uh, take any chances and decided that it was time to reline um, this pasture and the third pasture that we're going to next. You can see here the uh, fence line and um, the woven rope. This is our third pasture. This is our smallest uh, pasture. It's more of a transitional pasture, meaning that in the spring, um, this is the first pasture that they're allowed to go out on. Um, we construct a laneway from the first pasture through the second pasture to this pasture um, so that they can have uh, small amounts of grass and we can pull them off easily. Also, um, we open it back up uh, in the later part of the summer so that they have um, access to some more grass. The other reason that uh, we only allow them on here for short periods of time, you can see that this pasture does not have um, a run-in shed or any kind of shelter. So um, they are never closed off in this pasture. They always have access to other pastures so that they can get back to the barn or to the second pasture where there is another shelter for them. This is our fourth pasture. Um, it's one of our larger pastures. Um, this pasture was put in two years ago. It uh, also has the woven wire um, and not high tensile. Um, the horses have shade underneath the trees and um, access to run around and they really, really enjoy this pasture. 
Um, this pasture is always opened up later in the summer um, due to the fact that it can get kind of wet depending on the kind of spring that we've had. Uh, so we hold off on opening this up um, so that they don't run the risk of getting injured with the, um, with, with the wetness. The fourth pasture is attached to the second and third pasture by laneways. Um, it's a gate system where we have gates at both ends um, for the fourth pasture and for the adjoining pasture. They uh, then have access to go back to the barn if they want to or go back to, to shelter. Um, this one is to the second pasture. This is the laneway to the third pasture. Um, same as the other laneway, there's gates at both ends um, so that they don't get trapped in there. And um, it's easy access and um, it, it has worked out to be a very, very good system. We do have the opportunity to uh, increase the number of pastures that we have. Um, this is land that is also owned by us. Um, so as the need arises, we can create more pastures that uh, will help support the increase in the number of horses. This is our hayloft. During the summer, they have access to the pasture, so we do not feed out the hay. So from about June until October, um, they're out on pasture, and then October to uh, June, obviously, we fill, um, feed out the hay. This is where we store the feed for Gabby, Barney, and Louie. Um, when they are uh, in their bags, they're kept on shelves off the ground. When they are opened, they are put into the garbage cans. Um, the feed buckets are cleaned uh, after every feeding. And um, because Gabby and Barney's feed need to be watered down, uh, since they don't have any uh, teeth and we need to make it in a mash, we are able to go directly into the house and have access to uh, warm water to make their mash. This is our training area uh, where we assess the horse's temperament and um, work on ground manners, riding, and driving. Um, it is quite a large area that uh, we're also able to do uh, clinics in and uh, have demonstrations.